Hey lads, Coach Sai here. You better not be using the cold as an excuse to not exercise. Hearing it a little bit too much. Do you know what? Go train indoors. We do. So um, hopefully you're prepared for the weekend. Hopefully you're starting to create a little routine. And I wanted to give you a little bit of information or a bit of a story about how my routine be, used to be when I thought I was fit and healthy before I stepped into the fitness industry. And this was back in the day when I was in corporate and I was selling platform lifts, a very boring job selling lifts. Hated it, hate my boss. Um, and my outlet was, you know, Friday night, walk in the house, have a couple of bottles of beer with good intentions to still eat good. But then after a couple of beers have been down my neck, me and the missus, inhibition goes down. Let's order a takeaway. You know the one. And then you sink a few more beers and then whatever else. You might have a bit more food. And then it, you wake up with a hangover. You wake up dehydrated, bloated from shit food. You've got no energy. You're even more knackered because you ate shit, you slept shit, you had a stressful week and you just topped it off with a really crap Friday night. So, and then what I call this, um, I call this sitting in my own shit. So basically, I'm hungover, I'm tired, I'm dehydrated and I've had a shit week. And now I'm feeling even more deflated because it's Saturday and I feel like crap. Therefore, I sit in my own shit. What I mean by that is I wake up and I'm craving a fry up and I don't want to move from the couch. I will move as little as possible during the weekend because of how I started my Friday night. So then I'm eating even more calories and guess what? I'm going to start burning fewer as well because I'm not moving. So this is obviously familiar. I know you know about this and I'm going to go on about this in a very different way every Friday night so you can resonate with it and, you know, so you can, um, so I can help you put some tactics to get over it because I thought I was being good and I had this like start Monday mentality like, fuck it, I've worked hard at work. My boss is busting my balls. I've been to the gym. I've ate my salmon and my rice. I've been good. I deserve this. But what I didn't realise at the time I was, I was undoing all the hard work. Like, almost feel like a sh why did I bother in the first place if I'm just going to go piss it all up at the weekend. You can have enjoy treats though. So what I'm saying is that you've got the weekday nailed, right? We're all in a routine at the weekend. We've got it. And then we say, oh, well, when the weekend comes, we're out of routine. You're not out of routine. You just need a new routine. That is what's key and important. So you need a weekend habit and a weekend routine. The weekday's full of it. The weekend is precisely what we need to sort out. Friday is still a weekday. So as far as I'm concerned now, on Fridays, I eat as if it's the week. I don't eat it as the weekend. It's not the weekend yet. It's Friday during the week. So on Friday, I stay on track, okay? And I'm going to eat like it. And then I make sure on a Saturday morning, I'm going to go through this little list in a minute with you. On Saturday morning, I make sure I've got a workout planned. I make sure I'm meeting people where I train. I also car share, okay? So we take turns and who drives. There's loads of accountability going on. I'm meeting people in the gym. I'm car sharing. I've got training partners that are relying on me to push and motivate them. And then the same for me. So we bust each other's balls about it. It's really good accountability. So at the weekend especially, if you could go out for a run with your mate, go play tennis, badminton, <coughs> go for a swim, go to the gym, doesn't matter, go for a class. But do it with a mate. Do it where you've got a car share. Where you say, see you tomorrow early in the morning. So you know that your mate's going to get up. He'll be really annoyed with you if you let him down. So that will stop you on Friday night from drinking the booze, having the food. So you sleep shit and then you can't be asked the next morning. Because you've made a plan. Okay. So you need to get a new routine at the weekend. That's all it is. You've got your weekday sorted. You need to create a, week, a weekend one. So... That's what you need to get sorted, lads, really. It's as simple as that. Sort out your routine. Here's my routine. So, Saturday, okay, we're waking up at 6 a.m., coffee and porridge, 9 a.m., workout. <clears throat> Half past 10 in the morning, get my protein shake down me. 11 a.m. on Saturday morning, it's a ball late, but I get the big shop done. It's busy and it's crap, but I make sure I get the big shop done. I make sure, massively, I do not buy shit. Any treats that I buy, I always have a treat on a Saturday night. So I buy my beers, I buy my treat and I might have a little chocolate or something. But I will not buy a whole packet because it's cheaper. Or, you know, oh, it's on offer. Well, I may as well get that. So don't buy shit. Do not put shit in your trolley. Absolutely important. And then after I've done the big shop, I get some <coughs> lunch down me. Have a protein shake. 
always with the protein, keeps me full of for longer and satisfied. And then Saturday night, I have my treats. So I've had my workout in the morning to help me compensate from having that treat meal that's gonna be a little bit more in calorific. So that works well if you're not counting your calories. If you are counting your calories, you wanna factor in your treats within your calories. And then I have my treats and beers, I enjoy, I don't go overboard. And then Sunday, bit of a chill day, I don't train, but I make sure I move, I make sure I hit my 70,000 steps. I still eat well, but I make sure I have a nice, big, enjoyable Sunday dinner. And the difference is, that makes it so worth it and makes it work, is I'm not starting my uh, weekend treats on a Friday night as soon as I get home from work. I'm starting on Saturday night, which is a whole day later, and after I've had a workout and I feel more positive about the weekend. Also, lads, we have a six-week trial right now, starting on the 11th of Feb. We are looking to take 10 new chaps that want to kickstart themselves back into fitness. If you wanted to get started in January and it just wasn't the right time, it's definitely not too late. Summer, body, made in winter. So if you want to, if you've got a holiday booked with a family or know you're going to book a summer holiday, definitely a good one. We're going to look after your nutrition, your training structure. We're going to track your goals. We're going to help in mindset. We're just going to help with everything. We're going to make it as easy as possible for you to achieve your results. A bit of housekeeping. If you found value in this video, I want you to like, tag in a buddy, and please share this video. I want everyone to know in Loughborough, Leicestershire, Nottingham, that I am the man to go to if you're a man or a dad over 30 that's stuck in a rut and wants to know how to get in shape. I am the man to go to, and the only way we're going to do this is if you help me out. So if you found value, like, share, tag a pal in that you think might be of interest for the knowledge or potentially that would like to join the programme or just learn about how to get fit. Coach Sai, signing out. Sort out your work weekend routine.